Well, that was a total disappointment. Even during my theatrical movie going experience just recently. Total missed opportunity. <laughs> is up my Cinedroids. G to the S here. Today, I'm gonna be reviewing The Secret Life of Pets 2. Here we go. It stars Max the Terrier once again, but he's played by Remy himself, Pat Oswalt, not Louis C.K. from the previous film. Strange. Anyways, he must cope with some major life changes when his owner gets married and has a baby. When the family takes a trip to the countryside, nervous Max has numerous run-ins with canine intolerant cows, hostile foxes, and a scary turkey. Luckily for Max, he soon catches a break when he meets Rooster, played by Han Solo and Indiana Jones himself, the famous Harrison Ford. Odd choice to be 100% honest with you guys. Anyways, he's a gruff farm dog who cures the lovable pooch of his neurosis. Now, let me be completely honest. The animation in this movie, as well as its use of cinematography, looks beautiful to look at. I don't know why. There's just something about these types of family animated movies where the quality of the story feels completely rushed. I'll touch upon that, as well as the movie's use of characters in comedy momentarily. But on a visual standpoint, it is incredible. Just like in the first movie, the lighting of the city feels so glossy and shiny. Even when we get to the farm area, it also looks accurate to real life. At least the movie's trying to get me influenced in the fact that they're trying to make the scenes match the tone of the character moments. So kudos to Universal and Illumination Entertainment for that. But those are the only good things in this movie that are enjoyable to watch. Now getting the negatives of this film over and done with, the movie did a complete range from forgettable to why the heck bother? I mean, the voice acting is tolerable enough to listen to, but I feel like some of these characters were wasted in the movie. This whole movie story in general is a complete side quest after another, with no build-up, no sense of excitement or intrigue, and none of the fun that this movie was intended to be. It's like we start with one thing, now we cut to another thing, then we cut to another thing. Oh, if that's not enough, we'll continue on with yet another side story arc. It's like all over the place, and it loses focus on what this movie's supposed to be about. I mean, the marketing for this movie is that it was about Max spending time with the owner's young baby, and I thought to myself, that could have been fine if it doesn't go all over the place and is somewhat confusing. But unfortunately, guys, in terms of how it was executed, that's what this film gave us. It had a confusing plot, and the characters, especially Harrison Ford's character, was completely sidelined in this film, with no sorts of explanation whatsoever. Even the humor in this movie was very cringeworthy. You guys all know my hatred for these types of elements in movies, where the humor gets resorted to either a pop song, a poop slash fart joke, and some pun related jokes that really made me facepalm so much. Keep this in mind, I paid to see the sequel-itis animation, and I'm telling you right now that at the end of the day, I walked out of the theater saying to myself, in the words of Andre from Black Nerd Comedy, This movie was not entertaining at all. The characters were not used enough, the jokes were very tiresome and lazy, the story was all over the place, and it lost focus on what's going on. The only good thing I will say about this movie is that the animation was really impressive. That's it. Still not a good sign though. Do better, Elimination. I know you have that in you. As a result, I rate The Secret Life of Pets 2 2 out of 5 stars. Total waste of my time and hard-earned money. I mean, if you do have kids that want to see this movie, this is typical babysitter material for your kids. But for us hardcore adults, this was a disappointing adventure I would urge you not to partake in. Ever. So The Secret Life of Pets 2. You've seen it, right? Well, let me know in the comments what you thought about it. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Answers down below, please. Also, if you liked this video and you want to see some more, make sure that like button shines in your face. That'll totally help me out a ton. Also, share that video with your family and friends and favorite it. That's a very good way to show support for this review. Also, if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and ring that bell right next to you so you can be notified of future videos that I have in store for you. Also, if you want a shout out in a future video, just follow me on both Instagram and Twitter and I will choose one of my Cinedroids to be displayed as a shout out. The link's in the description below. And also, follow me on Stardust so you can catch early reactions of movies, TV show episodes, and trailers. I'll put a link to that below in the description as well so you can download the app for yourselves. But until then, I'll see you next time. Peace out.